First off, I just want to say thank you for joining us to celebrate our student athletes. This year's girls team had a phenomenal season. They accumulated over 10 wins. In addition to that, they set a single season record for most points scored in the game, which was a record held since 2013. In addition to that, the girls, this year's girls team, made their first regional appearance since the year of 2013. All in all, it was a great year for Warriors basketball. Let's meet the selections for the 2019-2020 Offensive Player of the Year. Introducing the nominees for Offensive Player of the Year. Alyssa Jean Gillis, Melanie Gerbarski, Allison Eloy. This year's award goes to Melanie Gerbarski. Melanie was a phenomenal scorer, deadly from the three point line, and dangerous in the open floor. She really took her scoring to the next level from this season compared to last. Throughout the course of the season, she averaged 28.3 points per game and went on to be the, the highest scoring player in all of 2A. In addition to that, Melanie finished third in all of 2A in Player of the Year voting. Dangerous score, and she accumulated over 530 points this past season. Congratulations, Melanie. I'm a coach that takes great pride in having a team that knows how to play good defense. As any of my players can tell you, we spent many hours in practice throughout the season learning how to trap, learning how to press, and learning how to play defense the right way. I truly believe that defense wins championships. So without further ado, let's go ahead and meet the candidates for the 2019-2020 Defensive Player of the Year. Introducing the nominees for Defensive Player of the Year. Caitlin Ra. Melanie Garbarski. Emily Castillo. This year's award goes to Emily Castillo. Emily was constantly asked to guard the best player on every team and sometimes pick up full court. She constantly asked me, coach, can I, can I guard the best player? And she willingly sacrificed her body to do so. She was the team leader in steals and charges drawn, as well as third on the team in rebounds. She truly loved playing defense, and you can see it on the court. Congratulations, Emily. Next up is our Warrior Award. This is an award that I hold with the highest honor and prestige. I believe that this award is greater than any other because it speaks more to the player off the court than it does to the player on the court. This a warrior, in my opinion, is somebody that is selfless, that is intentional, that is disciplined, that fights for their teammates, uh, and truly represents a warrior mentality. So with that said, let's go ahead and meet the candidates for the 2019-2020 Warrior Award. Introducing the nominees for the Warrior Award. Jaylee Baruka. Abigail Holden. Allison Eloy. Here's the Warriors Award goes to Allison Eloy. The reason I chose Allison is because one, she not only was she a captain, but two, she suffered a lot of adversity throughout the course of the season, whether being sick, injured, Whatever it was, she was constantly on the bench and encouraging her teammates. She decided to put the team in front of her own, her own interests. She was constantly the loudest voice in the gym and encouraging and leading her team to the best of her ability. She truly embraced and embodied what a warrior is supposed to be. Congratulations, Allison Eloy. Our fourth and final award is our Most Improved Award. Let's go ahead and take a second and look at the candidates for this year's Most Improved Award. Introducing the nominees for the Most Improved Player Award. Caitlin Roth. Camilla Fundora. Sophia 
Dias de los Mazos. This year's award goes to Caitlin Rue. Caitlin started off the year as a volleyball player first with little experience in basketball. But by the end of the year, she became our leading rebounder and shot blocker. She truly anchored the middle of our defense as well as became a savvy passer um, and playmaker on the offensive end. She made huge strides in her basketball game as well as her knowledge of the game. Congratulations, Caitlin, on being the most improved player this year. I just want to say thank you to all the players and parents that made this girl's basketball season a true success. Thank you for the amount of hours that you put in, the discipline that you guys showed, and making this my favorite year of coaching to this. I can't wait to work with you guys over the summer and to set new and, and